Welcome back to Making Records with Eric Valentine. That's me. Uh, so here we are. This is, uh, as you can see from the title, um, episode 15, uh, setting up the basement control room. I made a quick reference to this uh, in one of the previous episodes. But uh, so this is uh, some footage of what it looked like down there. Um, see a little bit of that. Uh, this was this was a challenging setup. This space. Um, did not want to be a control room. So it took, uh, took a good amount of effort to try and um, get it together down there. Um, and I would, uh, for a portion of it, had uh, help. Um, just moving some of the stuff, like moving those speakers, I, def I definitely just needed, uh, <laughs> some of this would definitely require two people for sure. Uh, and so uh, wonderful, very talented uh, engineer musician named Mike Bloom. Um, uh, came and helped me out for a bunch of this. Um, and, uh, we, you know, we had a good time. It was fun setting up the Strauss monitors, hearing those for the first time and fussing around with trying to get those dialed in in this bonkers place, you know. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Here you go. Check it out. You can see our efforts to try and make it happen. All right. So here is uh, the next, I don't know, installment of my crazy life. Um, so we made it to Vermont, uh, drove across country, 3000 miles, um, packed up to Pangadai studio. Um, here is some of it right there. And we had, you know, basically finished, uh, mixing record. We got to listen to it the whole way here and decided, you know, we talked to everybody, we got a little bit of time so we can, do some little tweaks on it. We just put together a little list of stuff we'd like to fix. So that means I need to set up yet another <laughs> temporary control room <laughs> because I have no studio at this point. Topanga Dice is done. Barefoot is gone, 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 gone. Like that, that shit is sold, gone. It's really done. Um, and uh, I need to do some stuff. So... Um, the, the little space that I have upstairs in the house in Vermont is too small, uh, for what I need to do. Cause I'm going to have the little RCA console, a tape machine, stuff like that. So we're going to set up in the basement. Um, and then this way I can be doing recalls. This is going to be the space. Um, it's kind of hilarious. So I'm using her touring road wardrobe, uh, to try and deaden the concrete walls a little bit. So, you know, there's some more of that floating around. I do have a bunch of my custom made tube traps that I brought, you know, from, from barefoot. So I'll throw, throw those around. Um, and then <laughs> I have some, some mattresses, which are going to go up against the concrete wall. There's a kind of, kind of a cool little, uh, symmetrical, um, architectural feature on the house, you know, up above, there's like a bay window where this goes. So you can see where the walls sort of angle out. And uh, so it seems like it might be a cool place to put the speakers. Maybe, I don't know, could be, could make them worse. Not sure. But um, so I put mattresses there. <laughs> I'm just grabbing stuff that is floating around in the basement to try and treat this room. And you can see right there, those two like ominous dark gray boxes. Those are the pedestals for the Strauss, uh, MF 2.1s, um, most amazing speakers I've ever heard in my life. And it's just kind of insane that I'm actually setting those up in this basement with, you know, mattresses and wardrobe for <laughs> acoustic treatment. Um, but I'm going to try, you know, those speakers sound so amazing. They certainly deserve better than this, but you know, I, you know, I, if, uh, any speakers can pull this off those, those will um so that's the plan but you know you can see there there's that's going to be my chair this is the beginning of the setup there's my little trash can computer um i'm going to use this little spl you know monitoring thingamajig uh there's some quarter inch tape i'm you know mixing everything through this old you know 300 series ampex machine it's insane it's incredibly difficult because it's a grumpy old machine but um, I'm dealing with it cause it sounds just has a cool sound to it. These I grabbed basically like all the essential, uh, cables and stuff that I would need when I tore apart 
uh, to paying it ice, you know, like most of it went into a moving truck, but that's not going to be here for another couple of weeks. I got to do all these recalls in the next three days. Um, got to set up a control room tomorrow. Got to have it dialed in, start doing recalls. We do all the recalls Tuesday, Wednesday, we're done. I go back to building the barn. That's the plan. Here we go. All right. We are still cranking away here, trying to get this thing happen. We actually managed to get the mighty Strauss monitors downstairs. That was no small feat for sure. Um, and the wonderful, capable and strong Mike Bloom helped make that happen. Um, so now we're actually just trying to put everything together. We have everything in the room. There's the RCA console. There's my little UA guys. There's my Fairchild. Um, there's the tape machine I'm mixing to. And so <clears throat> in theory, it's mostly just plug and play. And we're trying to get that going now. This is going to be, you know, my little monitor controller stuff. I got my little custom work surface thing down there. I got to put that together. The goal is uh, to try and have this all up and running uh, by dinner time tonight. Is it actually possible to build a control room from scratch in half a day? We'll find out. All right. We'll see how this goes. All right. So you see, this is that sort of next step. I talked a little bit about, um, you know, in the the video about shutting down Topanga that I, I tried to mix this whole record in, you know, I don't know what it was, five or six days, something like that. And then, uh, and so then... This was when we were going to do the recall. So we had that whole drive across the country to listen to things and make some notes on things we wanted to try and adjust. And so I just sort of set up the same, you know, uh, mixing setup that was being used uh, in the Topanga Dice room in this basement so I can recall these mixes uh, and, ha and make some adjustments, try and keep a lot of the work that was done. And, uh, and so... Uh, so that's what we did. And, and so this was the project where uh, I was actually mixing through the Ampex, you know, 354 tape machine. And, uh, and so that ended up getting kept on, on most of the records. Uh, uh, there was, uh, I did some more recalls a little bit later where I ended up switching to the ATR 102 for a few mixes, but uh, the majority of the record is you know, <laughs> mixed onto a quarter inch, you know, a little quarter inch, uh, 300 series Ampex machine, really committing to this thing. Like I want this record to have a sound, you know, and, uh, boy, it does. Um, so, uh, I still can't say what it is yet. Cause I don't think it's, uh, been announced yet. Um, yeah, I had to beep it out, uh, in, in that video, um, to not reveal it. Um, yeah, I had to, I, I had to beep it out to, uh, in that video to, <laughs> to not uh, give it away there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this was just another, another moment of, of like trying to figure out how to get stuff done, uh, you know, without really having a studio and, um, you know, we, we got it up and running and I did a whole other round of, of tweaks, you know, on this record. And then ultimately, you know, things on this particular product, things kept getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. And, uh, and so I ended up having another opportunity to do a few more recalls and after living with, that batch I did, I just targeted a, f a few songs that I just felt like, I know I, I know I can get these better. And so I had another opportunity to dig into them one last time. Um, and uh, soon I'll be able to um, reveal this record. And, uh, you know, ultimately I can't, I can't wait to share some stuff on, from this record. It, it is it is an incredible album and it's uh, for the artist, I think unquestionably their, their, best, their best record. Uh, so I'm super excited about it. Um, so there it is, uh, basement control room, trying to get it together. Um, and uh, let's see what's next. Next one is, uh, we'll be back in the big barn studio. I have one long video. It's a long video uh, titled Finished Wiring, F finish, Finishing the Wiring in the Control Room and just the general concept uh, about the control room design. I talk about that a bunch. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so that will be next week. We'll just be back in the barn, seeing where all of that's at um, and uh, all the progress that happened there. So I will see you next episode. Bye. <laughs>